first of all, I would just like to congratulate you on spending your money on such an amazing zombie survival game. One of the best, if not the best, zombie survival game you can play. Congratulations. Congratulations to you. Congratulations! 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 So you've just bought Project Zombie. You're brand new to the game. You're lost, confused. You're trying to make a build. You don't know what traits to take. You don't know what occupation to take. Everything you've tried so far has just not been helping and you've just been dying. I'm gonna help you, okay? I'm gonna help you make it to winter. Oh my god! Wow! You can redirect all your other friends to this video. They'll survive to winter as well. They'll make it to winter. So, talking about occupations. Bodguller is the one you want. Early game gives you the ability to hotwire vehicles. This is massive. It is big. That's what she said. <laughs> as soon as you spawn in, you just run out, jump in a car, hotwire that bad boy up, drive off into the sunset. That's, like, that's a big, big bonus. The other bonus is nimble. That's to do with combat. It gives you plus two nimble. When you're in the combat stance and you're fighting zombies and you're backing up, it allows you to back up like a lot faster. You do get, and like there's a couple other things within Burglar as well that you do get, like less chance of breaking the lock of a window, a plus two light footed, plus two sneaking. But the main selling points of Burglar is the, the ability to hotwire the vehicles from the get go and the plus two nimble that's going to be a massive help in increasing your, your combat efficiency and just your survivability like overall. So that's, that's why I recommend Burglar. As, as the occupation. Alright, so now let's talk about the positive traits for this for this specific build. I would, I would say strong, athletic. I'll, I'll describe all of this stuff. Once, once I've added it all in, I'll go through each individual one and what they do. Cat size, dexterous, outdoorsman, wakeful, keen hearing, fast learner. Well, that's a good one to have. Every single build, to be honest. I always run fast learner. It's so, so good. So like I said, I was going to talk about each individual trait that we've chosen so far for the positives. Starting with cat size. Like it says, better vision at night. It's always a, a trait that I choose in my builds. It's just a must have. You need this in all your builds. If you get caught out in a really bad situation and it's night time, this allows you to see a lot more. Dexterous transfers items quickly. If you're in a hurry and you need to put stuff together in a bag or you've run into a house and you need to grab something and the zombies like right behind you, like breathing down your neck. The list goes on, the list goes on. Outdoorsman, not affected by harsh weather conditions. There's a less chance of getting a cold. And if you're walking through the forest, there's even lesser chance of getting cut by a tree. At wakeful, needs less sleep, good for combat, fast learner, increased XP gains. It gives you, I think, about 30%. So this is across all of the skills that you have, like carpentry, maintenance, long blunt, short blunt, everything. 30% over everything. Keen hearing. Uh, this is another trait that is very, very helpful for combat efficiency. It gives you a larger perception radius. The way Zombide works, but well, if you're looking in a certain direction from behind your character, you can't really see. It's like real life. It's like real life. If you're facing in one direction, you, you don't have eyes in the back of your head. Having this trait just allows you to react a lot quicker to zombies that are like walking in from behind. Athletic, faster running speed, can run for longer without tiring. It just allows you to do more without getting exhausted as fast. Strong, extra knockback for melee weapons. Gives you extra damage. It also allows you to carry more stuff in your main inventory. So I just went ahead and just added in all the negative traits. So starting with thin skin at the very, very top. I'm not going to beat around the bush. Just get good. <laughs> learn the game, learn the combat. The reason why I say this, if I take this off, Right, thick skinned, less chance of scratches or bites breaking the skin. It's all a big lie. Liar! The, the way the damage system works in this game is like it's very RNG. You either get a bite, a scratch, Tis but a scratch. A laceration. Having thick skinned or not having thin skinned, it does not matter. That's why I'm saying take thin skinned. High thirst, easy points. There's a ton of water sources. There's a ton of buildings with bathrooms, sinks, toilets, bathtubs. Tons of buildings with, with plenty of water. You just don't need to really worry. You just need to learn to manage it a lot more because obviously the, the thirst moodle will come up a lot more often. That's all it is basically. Slow healer, 
recovers slowly from injuries and illness, takes a longer time to heal from like a scratch, a laceration, a broken leg or whatever it is. To me, that's not really a big problem. Underweight, easy easy you can lose underweight within like three days as soon as you spawn in you just need to stuff your character's face with like a ton of high calorie food pasta rice bags of chips chocolate did you say chocolate chocolate you'll lose it within a, a couple of days after you lose it you need to make sure you maintain you maintain your weight above 75 because if you don't you'll have underweight again and then you need to lose it all over I, again fear of blood just wash the blood off like i said there's many sinks there's many toilets there's many bathtubs there's rivers there's there's ponds easy easy to manage again very easy to manage agoraphobic gets panicked when outdoors you get negative 30 percent damage you do lose 30 percent of your damage it really isn't that big of a deal especially when you start to level so when you start to level up your weapons and all that stuff level up your long blunt or your short blunt or like your axes or your spears or whatever it is you don't really notice it anymore you're you're, you're, you're T -t today junior highly leveled in whatever weapons you're using prone to illness three points again it just speeds up the process of the infection that's all it does smoker there's a ton of cigarettes everywhere in a store in the gas station, on zombies, just everywhere. Weak stomach, easy one to manage as well. Three points again. Higher chance to have food a food illness. Don't eat any burnt food. Don't eat any food that's rotten. You'll be fine. You'll be completely fine. Short sighted. You do get a you get a smaller view distance and a slower visibility fade. If you do wear a pair of glasses, reading reading glasses or whatever, that kind of gets rid of the short sighted. Slow reader takes longer to read books. But here's the thing, when you're back at base and you're not really doing anything and you're reading books, you can fast forward and it'll speed, it'll speed that stuff up. So I just realized that we still have four points left over and there's quite a few four point traits to, to choose from. The one that I recommend is Lucky and that just gives you access to more loot. That's the positive and negative traits that I would recommend along with the burglar occupation. That is what I would recommend as the ultimate beginner build. With that said, I hope this video helped and you enjoyed. I'm going to leave all the links to my socials in the description down below. Check them out. And most importantly, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.